Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of k for this given quadratic equation and we have been given four different conditions. What if this quadratic equation has equal roots, two different roots, no real roots or two real roots? Just keep in your mind that whenever you see these roots, roots are same as solutions, zeros, or x values. So let's talk about the first part of this problem. We have to find the value of k for this given quadratic equation if it has equal or same roots. So before we go any further, let's talk about discriminant. Discriminant is always equal to b square minus 4 times ac. Always keep in your mind. So let's look at this quadratic equation x square minus kx plus 9 equal to 0. This is in a standard form. Let's identify a, b, and c. And we can see that a equals to 1. I'm going to write down a equals to 1. And here our b is negative k and c is simply 9. So it has two equal or same roots if the discriminant equal to 0. So let's fill in the blanks. I'm going to put down b square minus 4ac equal to 0. We know our a equals to 1. b is negative 4. I'm going to say negative 4 square minus 4 time a is 1 and c is 9 equal to 0. Let's simplify. This simply become k square minus 36 equal to 0. Let's move this 36 on the other side. So this simply is going to become k square equals to 36. Let's take care of this one over here undo this square by taking the square root. So that is going to give us simply k equal to positive or negative 6. So thus k equal to negative 6 and k equal to 6 is our answer. And here is in the next part we have to find the value of k for this given quadratic equation if it has two distinct or different roots. So this condition happens only if this discriminant b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. Let's fill in the blanks. b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. In our case, b is simply negative k square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 9 is greater than 0 so this simply become k square minus 36 is greater than 0 let's move this 36 on the other side so we simply got k square is greater than 36 and if you have a, this kind of scenario when you have inequality greater then this tells you that k is, is less than negative 6 or k is greater than 6. So now you might be wondering why did I put this way k is less than negative 6 or k is greater than 6. Let me just give you really quick kind of explanation over here. As you can see, there's this k square minus 36. This represents this kind of graph. This is called parabola. Okay, so this is a parabola. And since this parabola, this is greater than 0, you can see over here, greater than 0 means, that means we are 
above x-axis look at the above axis shaded region that means these two arrows are going in the opposite direction one is going on the left hand side of this negative six and the other one is going right hand side of this positive six no wonder i put down k is less than negative six for left hand side and for right hand side i put it down k is greater than six and i put an or because they are in opposite they are disjoint and thus k is less than negative six or k is greater than six is our answer and in this part we have to find the value of k and the condition is that this quadratic equation has no real roots no real roots means that it's going to be imaginary roots then and in this case the discriminant must be less than zero to get a no roots so let's simplify this one i'm going to put down b square minus 4ac is less than zero we know b is negative k then put down square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 9 less than 0 let's simplify this simply become k square minus 36 is less than 0 uh, make sure we are dealing with the inequality I want you to move this 36 on the other side so this is going to give you k square is less than positive 36 if this is the scenario then we know that this is going to be simply k is going to be in between negative 6 and positive 6 and you might be wondering how did i get these inequalities let me just show you once again that this graph this function represents this graph called parabola since now you know that this is less than zero means that means the graph we are looking at it below x axis so the below axis shaded region is only this part so this is restricted between negative six and positive six so no wonder i just put a k is restricted between negative six and positive six this is just like a sandwich between negative six and positive six so thus our answer turns out to be k is between negative six and positive six and that is our answer and finally in this part we are going to find the value of k if this quadratic equation has two real roots so now we have no any kind of clue whether this is distinct or equal roots just simply it's a little bit ambiguous so in this case only two real roots then we have to apply this condition in this case the discriminant b square minus 4 ac must be greater than or equal to zero so let's get started then i'm going to put down b square minus 4 ac is greater than equal to zero let's fill in the blanks b square means negative k square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 9 and inequality this time is greater than equal to 0 this simply become k square minus 36 is greater than or equal to 0 let's move this negative 36 on the other side so we got k square is greater than or equal to 36 and now we know that this would be written as k is less than or equal to negative 6 or k is greater than or equal to 6 this question is much like the b part we did so thus our answer turns out to be k is less than or equal to negative 6 or k is greater than or equal to 6 and that is our answer and here is your assignment can you 
do this problem exactly the same way I model it. You can take your time. You can pause the video. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.